and I'm going to head down the tin can bay inlet just to check it out today. See how far I get. I think it's about 10 nautical miles in total. You might recall that I lost my Akuba on the last leg of this trip, hence the improvisation with a trendy tea towel over my head. Here's an interesting old boat. Looks like the orchard's a bit out of control, could do with a bit of pruning. As I found my way back down the Great Sandy Strait, I was tinkering around with using the self-steering to manage the steering using the tiller uh, just to make it a bit easier to tidy up the boat. So I got a fixed line across to the cleat running over the top of the tiller to a cleat underneath and a bungee on the other side. Um, the benefit of the cleats underneath the tiller is that you can knock the lines off quickly in an emergency if you need to get control again. Uh, the bungee just allows a little bit of a buffer and, uh, and it worked quite well. I offset the motor a little bit, just a few degrees, to put a little bit of tension on the fixed line. This addresses the problem when you're in the cockpit, underway, sailing or whatever, and you need to do a quick pee. Obviously, you can't go down into the cabin and use the portaloo in those circumstances. So we have the bucket and chucket, which is a stylish little his and hers unisex number. I'm heading into the Tin Cam Bay Inlet and I get a little reminder that it's time to uh, get off my back side and move forward and get a bit of sail up. Heading out of the Great Sandy Strait and into the Tin Can Bay Inlet is a little bit tricky. There's a, a long finger of sand that comes from the, uh, the northern side of the inlet and uh, very nearly went aground there. So what started out is a nice gentle sail in about 10 knots, steady 10 knots, um, beam reach up the bay and pacing it with a 30 footer that was sailing alongside but soon things were to change very suddenly. I left the competition in my wake despite the fact that I was continually tinkering around with the self-steering which was working pretty well in this uh, nice steady breeze. If you look up the playlist for sailing trailer boats you'll find a detailed explanation of the way that I've got the self-steering set up. It works much better off the main. Here we are back at Tin Cam Bay had a magnificent sail against the outgoing tide, so we're only doing about three and a half knots, but we had a decent, mostly 10 to 15, and then got hit by that problem knot, and we were already overpowered. So I had to heave to and uh, drop the main, hit us very suddenly from behind. Once you get to Tinkham Bay itself, you come to this little sand spit and uh, there are quite a few channel markers. Uh, if you go to the starboard side, you're heading up into Snapper Creek. And if you veer around to port, Tinkham Bay itself continues for quite a long way. I'm quoting here from an article that was published in 2010 in the Courier Mail. It's in the Fraser Coast Chronicle if you want to look it up. The Lady Woodward is a decommissioned Sydney Harbour ferry that's being lovingly transformed into a habitable houseboat by the owner and skipper Dave and his family. The ferry was built in 1970 to carry 605 passengers and it did the daily run between Manly and Circular Quay 
before she was retired in 1998. For 10 years, she worked as a tender vessel for a salmon farm in Strawn, Tasmania. The voyage from Strawn on Tasmania's west coast to Tinkan Bay is 1,250 nautical miles. It's a long way on a passenger ferry. The weather can be very severe in that part of the world. Coming out of Bass Strait, they encountered 50 knot winds and seas up to 15 metres. It's a stark contrast to the placid waters of the Tinkan Bay Inlet. A perfect retirement for a classic old lady of the sea. And the Lady Woodward is not the only classic old lady of the sea that's found a retirement at Tinkan Bay Inlet. Snap. Well, or did it? You'll have to watch the video to find out. We're swimming in waters where they had bait crocodile traps to repair the keel. Just don't tell my wife about that. And uh, and then I've, oh, I've had the uh, had the anchor line wrapped around the centre board. We've had some beautiful sailing. Absolutely. If you subscribe to the channel, um, you get access to the playlist. So if it's wooden boats you like, you'll be able to see the playlist for wooden boats. If it's tips and tricks, that's what you get. There's also a playlist for restoring Mozart and more of uh, similar videos to this one under the Sailing Trailer Boats playlist. Mm -hmm.